resizing and back coating with methyl cellulose. A friend gave me this package of mulberry paper. It's beautiful paper and it's very thin. However, this paper has one drawback for origami. It's too soft. I've tried folding a few items from this paper and it's like folding fabric. The creases don't stay folded and the model springs apart. This disadvantage can be mitigated by adding a sizing agent to the paper, a process called resizing. I'm going to use methyl cellulose. It comes in a powdered form. I take a quarter cup of very warm water and a tablespoon of powdered methyl cellulose. I'll put in just a small amount of powder. and immediately begin stirring to dissolve it in the water. When that little bit is completely dissolved, I add just a little bit more powder and continue stirring. This process takes a while and I slowly work my way through the full tablespoon of powder until it's all gone. Soon the mixture begins to thicken. By the time I've nearly finished with the powder, the mixture has a noticeably thicker consistency. You just have to be patient and keep stirring for a long time. I'm finally finished and I pour the mixture into a storage bowl. My wife made this lid for me, which eliminates any question about what's inside the container. After letting the mixture sit for an entire day, it thickens into alien slime and becomes much more clear. To add the sizing to the, the paper, I use a sheet of glass. First, I clean it thoroughly with a window cleaner. I'm going to laminate two sheets of the mulberry paper together to make a green and white duo sheet. I lay the first sheet down I dip my brush into the methyl cellulose mixture and begin painting on a coat onto the paper starting kind of in the middle of the paper and working out to the edges, I thoroughly soak the paper and let it go right through all the way down to the glass. I use the brush to try to work out any air bubbles and make sure that the paper is completely flat and smooth on the glass. When the first sheet is thoroughly soaked, I take the second sheet and rounding it a little bit, I carefully put it on top, trying to avoid any air bubbles. Then I just take the rather dry brush and try to work out any air bubbles that might have formed, starting in the middle of the paper and working to the edges. And when things are smooth, I continue the process of adding even more of the methyl cellulose mixture to the second sheet. Again, letting it soak all the way through, all the way down to the glass, using the brush to smooth things out and force out any air bubbles, and also force the mixture to soak through both layers of paper. I let the paper completely dry out, and this takes about 24 hours. When it's completely dry, I use a straight edge razor blade to get things started at a corner and then the entire sheet should just peel cleanly off of the glass.
the excess methyl cellulose dries to a perfectly clear crust that can just be brushed away. The side of the paper that was facing the glass comes off slightly shiny, and you can take the shine off by wiping the paper very gently with a slightly damp paper towel. I used the razor blade to clean the excess dried methyl cellulose off of my sheet of glass so that it's clean and ready for the next use. After cutting my paper to a square, it has a nice crisp texture that will hold a crease. I have a duo colored paper and it will fold much better than the untreated mulberry. Resized mulberry is a beautiful paper for folding. I folded this bullfrog from a duo sheet of back coated paper. I folded this rabbit from a single sheet of resized mulberry. And I folded this classic from a duo sheet of back coated mulberry. I hope this video takes some of the mystery away from this process and that you'll feel more confident about trying it yourself.